what it do, what it do, as we roll through your crew, this is motherfucking tea scholar. You can bet your bottom dollar, we're gonna be playing a game versus some motherfucker name. Pal Metal? Is that what his name was? I don't fucking know. Anyway, we were out here playing for sake of motherfucking ways, and I was like, yo, let me just like record a batch or two and uh call it at that. That's a good start. As you can see, I thought I was on the other side of the map, but of course, I was um duly mistaken, as this is apparently a mirror match. I wasn't expecting that. I guess I wasn't paying enough attention. Anyway. <laughs> um Yeah, you know, it was it was it was a cool match. Um witches are one of my favorite things to play right now. And and they're just so fucking cute. Uh, almost as cute as fairies, but fairies aren't as good. Fairies are, fairies got their own thing going for them, but everybody who I've ever fought against has run fairies and always been in a rock and a hard place. Anyway, we go for it with our Coven Claw, and we proceed to give him what he needs with our CC, which stands for crowd control. If you know what crowd control means, it basically means keeping some motherfucker at bay. You're distracting and blinding and shit like that. Shit that witches are good at. Witches got shit on deck when it comes to that shit. You know, they have a lot of things going for them. They got nice healing and shit like that. Um, I played a game after this one versus Tiny Dragon, which I'll upload next. And I actually won that shit. I was not all, uh, very sure of myself for quite a while because it was on some real crazy unnecessarily OP bullshit on some, you know, luck type of whatever the f I don't know. We'll, we'll talk about it in that game. Regardless though, um I'm trying to take a take take a, a, a take my destiny in my own hands and be capable of doing some shit like this as well. Because I've I've been arguing with myself lately. It's it's the balance in life. It's the balance in life that matters. You can't just be one extreme or the other, be a gung ho, let me quit this and quit that and Shit like that. It, it's it's been a it's been a roller coaster ride for me in, 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 in a few ways when it comes to this shit. Anyway, playing this pox shit, man, commentating and fucking playing the game at the same time is quite a fucking thing to do. I think if I was commentating real time while playing that game for this tiny dragon, I wouldn't have been able to focus well enough. I would have really lost my attention span and lost track of how I intended to win or anything. Probably would have played more sloppy. Um, let's see. There was one part of it that I really noticed. Like, um, like okay, this motherfucker had a Goblin King at 27 damage or some shit at the, on the second turn of the game. Just because of the luck of the draw for the nigga on some strength of body bullshit. So, like... Motherfucker had like nine damage plus sixteen or some shit like that. I don't but in the UD bon anyway, the UD bonus, all that shit, it was a fucking mess. If I was commentating on that shit, I probably would have lost my nerve and been like, you know what, fuck it. I can't do this shit. Can't commentate and, you know, try and be in the game and still be trying to like urgently win that shit when I'm over here talking shit to myself about it. Like, yo dude, how the fuck am I gonna do with this? Nah, shut the fuck up, nigga. Just go and kill the shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I let myself go ahead and go fight him, I don't care. And now here I am talking the shit about it and chatting up with the bullshit and whatnot. As you can see, um, this motherfucker hit me with the corpse of Paul, and I was just like, you know what? Fuck that. Let me just, like, move to the side a little bit, because that little corpse had got how much HP? 6 HP? Alright, so then if I move to the left, and then I'm out of the corpse of zone, you know, that motherfucker will die trying to reach me, because he's going to get hit by the definite aura. So I was considering putting up my um uh, Volteri, I believe it's called. I, I wonder what made me think against it. It was probably I was trying to get range up against the Corpse of Paul or some shit. Um other than that, he's just got commander and I guess it's the shade strike. I wanted to give my Coven Claw some area of dead zone access. So like that she could stealth and shit. But I realized both her and Seductress have Shade Strike, so I went for, for the Shade Strikers and figured they could just, like, 
sneak up on the corpse of Paul and get the you know get the shade strike going. Seductress is good at holding down um, a, a bit of CC, especially on a one one champ versus one champ type of level, because um, you can lock down shit and just shade strike hit a nigga. And then now this is where I got now this is where I realized he was doing a little too much. He followed up the corpse of Paul with a dark rising and. He's just basically trying to throw summons at me for no real reason. It's like these 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 skeletons really didn't help him very much. Um, the only way that it really did help him is he was able to reveal my seductress. But aside from that, um, it was just a waste of Nora. He could have re like really legit if he didn't do the corpse ball thing or the dark rising and instead simply deployed like another two champs probably would have been in a worse position than I am now. Because he, he ends up deploying a dead fairy up there uh, in a number of turns. Uh, maybe next turn, I can't remember. I, I fucking, I essence claw this fucking skeleton just to say fuck it. And, you know, take advantages where I can get him. I, I wasn't like, I wasn't finna underestimate homie just because he was level 84. I know better than that at this point. But at the same time, he was making some rookie mistakes and I just... Still wanted to play it safe, so I just essence clawed the fucking skeleton. If I essence clawed the abomination later on in this game, probably would have went a little better for me. Um, I went for I went for chain lightning because I mean yeah, I'm, I'm explaining why I'm doing everything, but I guess that's a good thing. It helps people. It did ten damage to the fucking corpse of Hulk, so that's it's half done. And then like uh, abominations. Pretty damn near dead. It's not dead yet. But um I wasn't expecting him to continue spell spamming me like this and essence drain my my banshee, which is what I believe he did next. Yeah, essence drain right there. He essence drained Banshee and killed her and um I think he probably could have got the kill off if he simply um I don't know, maybe Hit her twice with the abomination. Came through with the other one. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. He could have got off a tap. Uh, he was one space off from getting a double tap off. He really, I guess, he really needed to kill the bitch. It just would have taken him an extra turn or so. But I don't know where that essence drain really saved him the game. It obviously didn't, because I was able to come through with the seductress like it was nothing. Um, I actually used his dead magic zoo, dead, dead magic, I almost called it a dead magic zone. His, his dead magic zone actually allowed my seductress to stay stealth. And I, I, I really was considering here just like, oh, I should attack him and then just move to the other, to, to the, to the right over there. But, um, what I ended up doing was actually a little bit more sneaky and didn't allow him the, the ability to really know where my seductress was at. So, uh, but I think it's funny that I used his own dead magic voodoo, his own, fuck, his own dead magic zone to stealth my champ, because I didn't think that was possible. Uh, I thought it was only friendly dead magic zone, so I don't know if motherfuckers might want to look into that. Hmm, uh, I was considering a despoil, because I didn't know if, uh, you know, his, I actually was going to despoil anyway. Cause I didn't expect his font zone to save my my ass and have me stealth like that after I end turn here. Um, but I think I, I I decided against it and was like, no, I should just keep deploying. Because if if someone's spell spamming me and they don't really have an advantage yet, I'm I'm gonna tend to want to deploy more. Cause I, I just remember all kinds of games, all kinds of times that I. Um, as you can see, I left this abomination just barely alive. And that's the thing. Like, I didn't spell spam him to try and, like, uh, get the kill off. I'm not so desperate about it. I need to avoid getting out another champ to where I just need to kill this one. Like, um, uh, I mean, add on top of that, that he already had, um, uh, Dead Zone Voodoo, so I couldn't cast anything anyway. And what was I going to cast? Essence Drain? That's all I had. Uh, as you can see, it's Seductress to Stealth. And I was, like, looking at Seductress, like, why are you Stealth? There's no, there's literally no Dead Magic Zone where you're at now. It was only because he had the font. 
before we contested, and now you're spelt because of his dead matches. So I just thought that was funny. I actually don't know if it worked that way before. It's unfortunate this skeleton that I essence clawed only has three speed, dog. Like, word. For sure. Man, just to give a little commentary on the side, just uh, while this game is in progress. Okay, yeah, you see the Dead Fairy coming out. And Dead Fairy does some decent ass damage to Coven Claw, especially because she vulnerable to magic. So, like, if he deployed that Dead Fairy three, four, five turns earlier, I would have been in a mess. I would have been in a rock and a hard place. You know, I would have been had to be uh, spell spamming him instead of him spell spamming me. So it's the balance of that shit. Like, I've played games like this before where I've been on the other side, and I'll cast spells, and, uh, motherfuckers just keep deploying, and before I know it, I'm just like, wow, I realize I fucked up. So you live and you learn, you go and you burn your weeds, you earn more money, you buy more bourbon in the urban streets. Fascinate as a bitch, because it's what allowed me to really keep him restrained, because with Deafening Aura, that one abomination with the one HP, uh, he's, he's not going to last very long now. He's, he's not going to be able to do anything because of Deathmic Aura. She could tap twice and move a space away, which is what she's going to do. And I was looking at this, uh, Corpse of Paul and thinking about, um, like just seeing if it was going to hit anything other than the Seductress. Seductress I don't have to worry about because she's going to be stealth. He's going to have to try and reveal her to Corpse of Paul. And if he has to do all that and does all that and gets hit by the ambush and everything, I figured it'd be worth the little corpse of Paul hit. Um, I actually, oh, okay, I destroyed the corpse of Paul, didn't I? Shit. I forgot I did that. But I was worried about Coven Claw dying from Dead Fairy, so I got the dead, the mist of the dead up, which, uh, the lasso doesn't know about, apparently. And uh, allowing me to keep Coven Claw alive just a little longer, because I realized that counting the space is right. Uh, Dead Fairy would have been able to tap her if it weren't for Mr. of the Dead right here. I also get out my Grimwell to get more CC going for myself. So, he didn't, um, really have an answer for either of these. So, it kind of, this was where it was officially GG already, if you ask me. And it was really because of all that spell spam he was pulling. Now, he still tries to stay in the game and actually tries to legitimately uh, not lose, I guess you could say, but it's really GG at this point. It's that, it's around this point that it was GG. Um, he actually does kill some stuff, though, which is, which is cool, but I'm just saying. Um, yeah, man, I played, I played a show with my band yesterday, last night, and I was supposed to play a, another show after that. I played a show around, like, 8 o'clock, and around Gardena and some shit, and then we went up to, uh, fucking Arlington and 29th, uh, out here in Los Angeles, dog, we, we were doing shows and shit, if you, if you around the area, come check this out, the name of the band is Negro Galacticus, anyways, the second show we were supposed to play at this other house party, uh, at about, oh, you can, you can find the band on Facebook, it's, uh, Negro Galactic with a U.S. at the end, like, Galactic shit, you know how Galactic, is a galaxy uh, level of things, like a galactic affair is of the entire galaxy is involved. So just consider galactic with a U.S. at the Galacticus. Galactic with a U.S. at the end. Look that shit up on Facebook, dog. I'd appreciate that shit. If anything, that would be the most beneficial way that this YouTube shit might help me out or anything. So, so far, to be honest, I made these videos because... Um, I made, I made this particular video and the next one that'll upload versus Tiny Dragon. Specifically because, you know, a couple motherfuckers that I see on the game every now and then were just like, you know what? When you make a video, dude, like, I, I've been waiting for you to make a video, and I'm, I'm wait, I'm, I'm Jones, and, dog. I'd like some more Team Scholar, dude. Which I always appreciate, but on top of that, um. Shit, there, was, there were two reasons for it. What was the other reason? Mmm. Uh, shit. There's enough time in this game for me to, like, think about and try and remember what the fuck I was trying to spit about. Um, I mean, obviously I can, uh, shamelessly self-advertise my band and shit. Um, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I noticed some motherfuckers subscribe to me on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Like, somebody subscribed to you and shit. Everybody knows about that. If <laughs> Maybe there's some old lady that might watch my videos and be like, I fucking love T-Scholar, but what is this subscribe shit you're talking about? <laughs> but uh, it, that's where it was GG. I, I, Homeboy tried to put up a good fight. It was it was, it was good. It was all good. But but regardless, GG, mate, I'm sure we'll do this another time. You know, it was just how we do it. The second motherfucking waste. Uh, yeah. So don't be a bitch about it. Enjoy experience. It's been so far. What's good? I am. Peace, God. And this has been Psychic. Motherfucker, wait.